Good morning. I've heard we're all going through a little bit of this right now. Not all of us, but a lot of us. And that is, I go through periods of like, I feel on top of the world. I've had my period of like, I feel good. Like my hair looks great. My makeup's going really well. You know, I like the clothes I'm putting on. I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling healthy. I'm feeling, I'm just feeling fabulous and confident. But then after having one of those periods, shortly after comes the next period, which is, I don't, I, I wonder whether it's like a hormonal thing. Like it definitely could be, I've got no idea. But I then go through this next period of like, I feel like groggy and horrible and it feels like someone's squishing my head and my makeup doesn't sit right on my face anymore like i said in oh no you won't have seen that video yet you won't have seen it but uh, my makeup all of a sudden has started going really cakey and my face is dry and my hair isn't sitting right and it's going greasy really quickly and and there's only one thing to do when you're going through like one of them moments for me anyways actually there's two things just lounging around in a dressing gown. I think that's what I'm missing out of my life right now. I feel like a dressing gown can fix anything. <laughs> you feel, if you feel bad, take your makeup off if you wear makeup and go and get in your dressing gown. It's, it's next level kind of like, I can take on the world in my dressing gown, but I haven't got a dressing gown. That's something I need to do actually. I need to, <laughs> I need to go and buy a dressing gown because our house is cold. The next best thing, what do we do? We need, we need help. We need a little something, something. Glow up with me, I suppose. And hopefully, I always say this, by the end of this video, I want to look like a completely, uh oh, I've just locked myself in. Oh, I've got the key. Okay. Oh. I want to look like a completely different person. I just, hopefully it's going to make me feel better. And we went shopping this morning. <laughs> Bless Connor. I was like, my makeup. Because I had to buy a whole brand new kind of like makeup bits and bobs because I've said it a thousand times, but I had to get rid of most of my makeup basically because I had the big flare up and some of it got contaminated. Some of it was like such old makeup. Honestly, I probably had palettes in there that I had had since I was a teenager. <laughs> so most of them, they were, they were just gone. So I had to, you know, it's expensive. I had to buy another foundation, powder, ones that were like mineral and for sensitive skin. But what I've learned is if I'm not mid flare, makeup doesn't affect me. So we're, <laughs> we're okay. The makeup I've been doing, like I've, I forgot like what I used to do with my face. Cause I used to, I used to love how I do my makeup, but I can't for the life of me remember how I used to do it. So I'm kind of working from ground zero. And then you've got, like, as someone who loves makeup, I am so terrible at everything. Like, I don't know, you know, how people say, like, if you've got a water-based primer, you need a water-based foundation. It's like, well, how do I know? I know usually with primers, it's quite easy to, to work out if it's like water-based or oil-based. But like when it comes to the makeup part and like these contour sticks and the foundations, like how do I find out if it matches the primer? <laughs> but the makeup I've been doing recently it looks good to begin with and then it just starts kind of like cracking into like my laugh lines and these lines up here and it just looks really heavy and I don't think heavy makeup suits me and then I started doing my eyeliner again and then I loved that for a couple of days and now I'm looking back at it and I'm thinking oh actually I think that's a bit too heavy for me and then someone said the other day as well they commented and they were like Liana <laughs> it was kind of like that eased me into it Liana you're so beautiful but when you put your makeup on it makes you look old <laughs> And I was like, oh, okay, thank you. That is my sign to sort my makeup out. Should we take a before picture? Let's go. Don't ask why I'm sat in the van, I thought it'd be aesthetic. See? How was that? <laughs> first things first, I need to make myself water, but I don't know where my cup has gone. I know. What screams health? <laughs> Some greens, let's do some gr that surely. Help, anything green. Oops. Picking up ice, actually. <laughs> I should probably get one of them ice things, but I literally just take ice cubes out of the fridge and I wrap them <laughs> into a tissue and just... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Help. Yummy. <laughs> They're actually not that bad, they're mango flavoured, but 
because I put so much water in it, it just tastes a bit like slightly mango tinted stable water. Here's the stuff I got. Of Paradise Sunny Serum Instant Face Bronzer. I used to get, there's this brand called Loving Tan and I used to get their, um, they used to do like face tan cream and it was just, it was, it was like a bronzer and it just like went all over your face, just made you look like instantly tanned. And it's not a brand that you can get in a shop. So I don't know if this is going to be the same thing. I don't know. I love this because I'm lazy. So this is the Isle of Paradise Express Tanning Mousse. And this basically, you can just leave it on and it gives you like a slight tan, even if you leave it on for just 30 minutes, but you can leave it on for two to three hours. But I just, I just, tan and stay in it and then wash it off in the morning. I've got a new brush. No one's told me anything about this. Glow and Dew It. I thought, yeah, I need all the glow and dew I can get. One also, I just, maybe the comments are getting to me now. Maybe that's just what it is. But um, someone said about my eyebrows. I don't do anything to my eyebrows. And I was like, should I be doing something to my eyebrows? Because they were laughing at my eyebrows. Like th these are just, I just pluck them. Like I just pluck the stray hairs. These are just the shape of my eyebrows. So um, I hope you're happy now. I got some tattoo brow. Don't know what you do with it. I got a brown eyeliner because my other one has run out and I, I do fake freckles with my brown eyeliner, but I'm not sure how it's gonna work with that one. And then I got these cause I saw people raving about them and I thought, well, I'll try everything. I love ice in my face because I already feel like I look so different and I probably don't. It's probably just like a placebo. Our bedroom is still just a bed, by the way. <laughs> it was just, we haven't got any furniture. We've got a TV on the floor, but, but the bed is built and that's the main thing. So let's get the light on. I'd usually tan first, but I can't tan first because I haven't got any time to tan first. So just straight in the shower, I guess. Wait, wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this needs to be the before. This needs to be the before. Okay, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Let me get the before picture. If you're good looking in the shower, you're a different type of pretty. <laughs> I don't think it's my day. I've just knocked my drink off the side. And <laughs> my plastic cup has cracked. Right, well, <laughs> deal with that in a second. I'm gonna quickly turn. Where is it? I love this tan so much. I haven't even done my face yet. I'm not, don't know how this is gonna go. Also, just quickly, I need to know, is this a universal thing or is it just a Liana thing? When I finish in the shower, so water's off, I'm still stood in the shower. I run both my hands like down my body like, to like get the water off before I step out into my towel. Do you know what I mean? Like literally down my legs, like whoosh, like that. Didn't need the sound effects, but is that just a me thing? Does everyone do that? Very important questions that I need the answers to. I'm very upset about my drink, by the way, if you didn't already, already now. I'm gonna go and get my pajama bottoms on because obviously I've got tan on my bum cheeks and my legs. I can't even begin to tell you how much better I already feel. It's quite ridi quite ridiculous. I'm gonna go in with my new hairdryer, but again, don't have a brush for it, so I don't know what my plan is here. No! I feel as though watching everyone go to Coachella hasn't helped me wanting to glow up. Every year I just get so jealous that people get to, not not the fact that they get to go because I'd probably hate it. <laughs> I probably would like, I'm so like socially awkward and don't like, I don't know, I've never, I've never been to a concert. Oh, I have actually, that's a lie. I've been to one concert, but it was a really small concert. I've never been to a festival. I've never been to a concert. So I, I don't know. I just, I feel like I probably wouldn't enjoy it, but I would enjoy getting ready for Coachella. Like, thinking about all the weird quirky outfits and doing your hair and doing some like weird crazy makeup. That's what appeals me, not necessarily like the festival. 
kind of vibe of it. So this is what we're working with after I've pulled everything out. I haven't brushed through it or done anything yet. I'm gonna go and do my makeup. I'm just gonna let the curls kind of like sit like this and then and then kind of like sort it just so it has a chance to because I didn't I didn't pin them properly. Let's try again. <laughs> Green. There's this viral makeup going around. What's her name? I don't know what her name is. But it's it's very glam and like very pink cheeks and I just don't think I'd pull it off. But is it worth a try? Maybe. I feel like that makeup's gonna have to be for another day. I don't have I don't have the lashes and I'm scared that if I don't pull it off, I'm not gonna like it. So I think it's risky. So I'm gonna wing it. I'm gonna wing it. I'm gonna try and make myself look different and nice and pretty. I've already moisturized my face um, and it's been sitting for a while. Hopefully this will make me kind of like fake look like I haven't got dry skin, right? Okay, why is there just like pure water coming out? Right, something tells me, so this is this oil based? Is that why there's like, look, there's just pure water coming out of it. Oh no, what have I bought? This is it, right, I've got shade two. Did I need darker? Maybe. Why is it stinging? I feel like it's stinging. I'm gonna go back in. Is that good? Oh no! Oh, right, this could ruin the whole thing now. I didn't get the wrong colour at least. Look at that. Like, I really like that. Okay, wait. Wait, 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 wait a second. Right, where's my concealer? See, the thing is, if I've gone in with like them, should I then go in with this concealer? Because I feel like, aren't they made to all go together? I'm definitely onto something, I think. I'm gonna do blush. I don't do, I, I keep going in and out of like doing liquid versus like powder blush and I just always go back to just doing the powder blush because I feel like it looks nicer. Mm. Oh, this is, I don't, I bought this because, oh, nearly dropped that. I bought this because Whitney Simmons had it and I feel like her makeup just always looks amazing. So um, this is Hourglass, never heard of them before, probably American. Um, Sublime Flush, Lightning Blush. I've actually used it loads, but I've still got loads left. I'm really scared of like powdering my face because I feel like that's probably where I mess up every single time and make myself look really cakey. State of that. Airbrush Brightening by Charlotte Tilbury. Actually, one of my favourite blushes is this one. I went to go and do a colour analysis and they matched me, like they match your makeup. So there's, there's makeup for different kind of like seasons and I was a summer. And this is the blush that I was matched with. And it's honestly like, it, it really is one of my favorites now. I'm gonna do, do you know what I used to do when I was a teenager? I used to do my eyeliner straight. And I'm wondering if that still would work and look good. Cause I used, I used to really like it. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. And when you close your eye, it looks like that, but that's fine. So I'm gonna go brown lip liner. I know some people hate this. Some people really hate it. And I'm also here for like overlining your cupid's bow. I was also today, today's years, I was to, uh, I was also today's years old, today years old, today's years old, when I realised that some people double line their lips and whether or not, like, I don't know if I believe that that's a thing or not. Right, I'm going in with Anita. Block. Like right, Benefit Tint Drops, just in the centre. Oh, maybe I was just doing it too close. Okay, lovely. I'm living out of a suitcase, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned, but all my makeup. Because I went away to that event with my friend Magda and it just, it hasn't come out since I went. Let's see if we can do fake freckles with this. What I used to do, because with my pen, with my eyeliner now, what I used to do is because it's running out, I used to go straight, on, straight onto my face with it. But when it was brand new, I used to, I'm not even sure if it's going to work with this one, draw it onto my hand pick it up with my finger and dab it on did that work i feel like it did because you i don't i don't like them too heavy so da -da 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 -da. pick it up with your finger yes still works still got it 
Okay, it probably looks the same as usual, but it's something. Sort my hair, choose an outfit. I don't have any nice outfits. Like, mainly I've just got jumpers and cargo pants because that is what I live in. I went and I tried to find an outfit that would make me feel like really uncomfortable. Bought this to go to my event. <laughs> I mean, there's not much to see, is there really? And it's kind of like, I've got nothing going on upstairs. So it'll be interesting to see how it fits. It look, by the looks of it, I had to bobble it. This is the outfit I found. I feel, oh, hello. I feel like I have succeeded. You're not gonna see me now, are you? God knows where I'd wear this, but it, I had to pull it out. And like all of a sudden, I just straightened my, head, my fringe a little bit. And although it's kind of like a bit kinky, I just, I, I don't know, I feel like I've succeeded. It's probably gonna come straight back off, let's be honest. Wait, we need to do the, um, right, we need to compare the before and afters, like I've got the editing skills for that, right. Before, can she do it? Am I there? Is she stood there? Still now I can <laughs> go, you know, take all this off, put my hair in a bun, get into my pajamas and I can chill out now. Should I keep this top? Because that just ruins it, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? Also, oh, another question. Someone said, it's so random. Someone commented, not commented, they DM'd me. And they were like, Liana, just wondering, do you have scoliosis? Because I think she said that like, something of mine stuck out more than, than the other side. And she was like, that's how I got diagnosed. That's how I went there. And it was so random because the other day I was saying to Connor because I'll show you now, but I was saying, do you think I've got scoliosis? And Connor was like, no. And I was like, are you sure? And he was like, I don't think so. Cause he's like, he's massaged. I don't know what it entails to have scoliosis. Obviously I don't have any pain or anything like that. Um, and he was like, every time I've massaged your spine and stuff, it's felt completely straight. But I don't know, obviously on like the milder form of scoliosis, what that would entail. But, right, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> right, this is me stood straight. Look at my shoulder blades. And this is me like, this is me stood up straight. Like I have like, I feel like I've always had it. I don't know. I don't know. It, it's kind of why I always tend to wear kind of like baggy cardigans and baggy shirts and stuff as well. Because my, it just, it. Oh, actually, can you even tell with those? Th there we go. This is stood straight. So <laughs> I don't know what's going on back there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, obviously it wasn't like my last couple of videos, but I didn't have little man today and I just wanted to focus on kind of like making myself feel a bit better because we just need to sometimes, don't we? So um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. We went to the zoo, so that'll be fun. <laughs> I hope you have a great day.